Welcome to our Coding Insights video. Today, we're tackling an intriguing question from one of our viewers about constructor arguments and member variables. Specifically, they want to know if the following code is valid given that static analysis is throwing an error. Let's dive into the details and see what's going on. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your question, answers, and hopefully finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully get through to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. Let's analyze the code provided. We have a class named Foo with a constructor that takes three parameters, A, B, and C. In the constructor's member initializer list, we see that the member variables are initialized with the same names as the parameters. This can lead to confusion as the member variables are initialized with themselves. However, this is valid C++ syntax. The static analysis warning you received is not a false positive. It's alerting you to a potential issue with readability and maintainability. To improve clarity, consider renaming the parameters or using this to differentiate between the member variables and parameters. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. Constructor parameters take precedence over member variables during initialization. However, these parameters don't affect member name resolution, so everything works as expected. It's also important to note that using the same name for constructor parameters and member variables can be considered bad practice. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. When constructor arguments and member variables share the same name, they are initialized correctly using the initialization list. However, you may encounter warnings about unused private fields, which are not significant. While it's not considered good practice to use the same names for constructor arguments and member variables, it's also not a bad approach. It avoids introducing new names and is largely a matter of personal preference. For further reading on this topic, you can check out the Stack Overflow link provided. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. In C++, when a constructor parameter and a class member have the same name, they exist in different scopes. The member initializer list refers to the class member, while the parameter is found in the constructor scope. This means the parameter can hide the member with the same name. According to the C++ standard, when looking up names in a member initializer, the compiler first checks the class scope. If not found, it checks the constructor's scope. 
This is crucial for understanding how names are resolved. An example illustrates this concept. In class X, the member B is initialized with the constructor parameter B, while A is initialized directly. This demonstrates how the same name can refer to different entities based on scope. And that's it guys. I hope the video helped find the resolution that you're looking for and you got the answer and worked your way through. If it did, please hit subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.